Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Dragon Ball I Wonder episode 33. This time I'm going to be talking about why is Future Trunks so strong in Dragon Ball Super. In particular, when he was fighting against Zamasu in black. So, this has been bothering me because, you know, this is something that literally just came out of nowhere. Because, as far as we had known, Future Trunks at most was as strong as, I would say a strong Super Saiyan 3. No, I, no, sorry, not a strong Super Saiyan 2, how about that? And remember, this was Goku after he had trained for a couple years, plus absorbing that God Key and whatnot. So unless it wore off, and even if it did, you know, he's still significantly stronger than when he was during the Boo Saga. So much so that it brings into question whether or not he's stronger as a Super Saiyan 2 at this point or at least when he fought Trunks, than he was as a Super Saiyan 3 when he fought Kid Buu. Which, uh, you know, I'm not sure whether or not he's stronger because, you know, he Super Saiyan 3 is a significant amount stronger than Super Saiyan 2, so, you know, I'm not sure myself. But nonetheless, I just thought it weird that Future Trunks all of a sudden, all of a sudden comes out of nowhere and just, you know, he's just pounding on Zamasu even though Zamasu was able to go toe to toe with Super Saiyan Blue Goku and I think for a little bit Trunks was even able to go up somewhat against uh, you know Rose Black now this bothers me for a couple reasons uh, one reason why it bothers me is because basically you know he they never really explained how he got as strong enough to beat Zamasu, well, to fight Zamasu in black. You know, they're almost making it seem as if he's in the same ballpark as, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Super Saiyan Rose Black. Now, sure, he's, sure, he's basically shown to be weaker than Black and possibly Zamasu, but, you know, it wasn't made clear enough. Plus, you know, if you know anything about Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball is definitely the kind of series where you're, they have no problem showing that you're outclassed. You know, if you've seen enough of Dragon Ball, then you know that they will usually show that you're outclassed by, you know, you punch somebody and, like, they don't budge or they barely budge. You know, they did that all the time in Z, such as when Kurin, for example, tried to hit Perfect Cell and he wouldn't even budge, or when uh, Android, what was it, Android, uh, 16, yeah, when Android 16 was trying to hit, uh, semi-perfect cell, and he wouldn't budge either. So, you know, Dragon Ball definitely has a history of portraying characters that are much weaker than other characters, and showing them not being able to do much to them. So, me personally, I just find it really absurd that Trunks as a Super Saiyan 2, not, not even a Super Saiyan 3, like forget that, he's just a Super Saiyan 2 and he's able to do some decent harm against Zamasu. I mean, I know Zamasu's immortal, but, you know, he doesn't seem to be doing that much worse than Goku was against him, so, and that's the thing, people have a bunch of explanations for this, you know, some people have been saying that, oh, well, it's because of that short period of time he's been training with Vegeta. I mean, first of all, they never sh say how long he's been training with them. Second, they don't even imply at all that it's been months or let alone any significant period of time. And third, even if that was the case, so what? You know, I just gotta say it. So what? Just because he trains with a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta doesn't mean he can narrow the gap. I mean, that's ridiculous. And that's the thing, I realize he's a half-breed, but, you know... Or, well, I don't like using the term half-breed, but... I know he's half-Saiyan, half-human, but... I, I That's still absurd to me. Oh, and a lot of people also say, of course, because he's half-Saiyan, he's able to get much stronger. I mean, if that were the case, then his gains would be much greater than Gohan's then. Because even Gohan isn't able to get this strong. This would have been the equivalent of Gohan by the... Uh, Instead of reaching Super Saiyan 2 in the uh, Cell arc, he instead reaches Super Saiyan 3 level power. I mean, I mean, you guys, 
I think you're underestimating just how strong Super Saiyan Blue is compared to Super Saiyan 2. I mean, they don't give you a multiplier, but it's at least implied to be, like, really... Man, I'm even having trouble describing it. So basically, I don't accept that. That, that. that just doesn't work. It seems like a contrivance to me, as Hale Zeon would say. So, from what I've seen, I don't really see any good explanations as to why Future Trunks has all of a sudden been able to do just about as well to Zamasu as Goku has. If you want my explanation, it's simply because, you know, they want it to be more dramatic. And it was, but if you actually take time to think about it, it doesn't make sense. You know, it's, it's not consistent at all. So yeah, that's basically my thoughts on all of that. So, what do you guys think? Do you think that, uh, Trunks was somehow able to get as strong as he was just by training a little bit or because of him being half Saiyan and half human? Because simply put, I don't buy it, but, you know, you might. Anyway, see you guys later.